Hi guys, it's Dan from Dan's Best Tech. Is the more expensive 15-inch Surface Book 3 with the GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q worth the extra cost over the 13.5-inch version with the GTX 1650 Max-Q? Let's talk about that. So the 13.5 and 15-inch Surface Book 3s with their 10th gen quad-core CPUs are finally announced and ready for purchase. Although the base 13.5 inch model starts at $1,600 for the 10th gen Core i5 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage, this version lacks the dedicated GPU. Therefore, I'm comparing the $2,000 13.5 inch version with a dedicated GTX 1650 Max Q, Core i7 CPU, and 16 gigabytes of RAM to the $2,300 15 inch version with a dedicated GTX 1660 Ti Max Q the same Core i7 CPU, and the same 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I guess the question is, is it worth the extra $300 to get the 15 inch version with better graphical performance? Also, 256 gigabytes of storage is pretty sad. The maxed out 13.5 inch version will cost you $2,700, but it will come with one terabyte of storage and 32 gigabytes of RAM. The one terabyte 15 inch version will also come with 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it will cost you $3,000. Again, it's only $300 more, but it's $3,000. That said, if you need two terabytes of internal storage, then the answer is pretty obvious. Only the 15 inch version is available with two terabytes of internal storage. It'll just cost you $3,400. Before I talk about performance, I wanted to briefly discuss the size and weight. If you need that extra screen real estate and high resolution for when you're on the go, then the 15 inch version is for you. It'll just weigh a bit more. The 13.5 inch version weighs 3.6 pounds, where the 15 inch version weighs in at 4.2. Although neither of these are heavy compared to some cheaper gaming and professional laptops, I'm dreaming of the day when all laptops weigh less than 4 pounds. I guess I'm just spoiled with the 3.5 pounds $1,450 ASUS Zephyrus G14 with 1TB of storage, 16GB of RAM, and an RTX 2060 inside, and the 3.9 pounds Dell Precision 5530 of the Quadro P2000 at work. Now back to the performance. Is the GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q inside the 15-inch version worth $300 more than the GTX 1650 Max-Q inside the 13.5-inch version? Right off the bat, the GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q comes with 6 gigabytes of VRAM, whereas the GTX 1650 Max-Q only comes with 4. So if you need that extra VRAM, then I'd stick with the 15-inch version. But performance-wise, Geekbench's OpenSeal score for the 1650 Max-Q is 36,000. The OpenCL score for the 1660 Ti Max-Q is 53,000, so that's an almost 50% better graphical performance in the 15-inch version for a 15% increase in cost and a 17% increase in weight. That said, the RTX 2060 inside my much cheaper $1,450 Asus Zephyrus G14 is rated for almost 62,000, right up there with the Quadro RTX 3000. Speaking of the Quadro RTX 3000, if you are a business that uses CAD software like SolidWorks, then you should stick with the $3,500 15-inch Surface Book 3 with the officially supported Quadro RTX 3000. That said, if you are a student or simply want to use SolidWorks infrequently like my wife, then SolidWorks will run just fine on either the GTX 1650 Max-Q or the 1660 Ti Max-Q. Again, although GeForce cards are technically not supported by SolidWorks, they work just fine. Light assemblies should work just fine on either of these laptops, but of course, the stronger the card, the more you can do. I plan on testing out SolidWorks on a 13.5 inch version when it arrives, so if you'd like me to test a specific part or assembly, feel free to leave a link to it down in the description below. In conclusion, should you buy the 13.5 inch or the 15 inch Surface Book 3? If you want a lighter and cheaper Surface Book 3, then the 13.5 inch version is for you. But if you run a business that needs an officially supported Quadro card for CAD, you need 2 terabytes of storage, and you want a 50% increase in graphical performance for only a 15% increase in cost and 17% increase in weight, then the 15-inch version is your best bet. Check out my first impressions video for more info, and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to test in the comments down below for when I finally get my hands on a 13.5-inch version. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell icon, and I'll catch you in the next one.